I'm going to start by making a new project and I'm going to do some animation here. So um, what we can do with a light motion is we can create, uh, uh, we have many different aspect ratios available, so I'll, I'm going to go with uh, square video here, but you could do uh, vertical, horizontal. Um, we can also do uh, 25 FPS if you need that. Um, and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, up to 4K uh, support if your phone will uh, handle it. So I will create a new project. And uh, the first thing I'll show you is how to just do a very simple animation. So I'll push the plus button here, and I'll add a shape. I'm going to just add a circle uh, into the preview. And um, now I will push the move and transform button, and I can now move the circle around the screen. So I'll put the circle over here in the left corner. And this button right here, the diamond button, is the most important in the app. This lets me define a keyframe. This means at this point in time, this is the position or, or color or some other property of that layer. So I'm now going to scroll forward into the future. I'll go to 15 frames, which is about half a second, and I'll swipe up here. You can see now I've created a path which uh, will be followed by that circle. So if I push play, um, you can see that's now following that path. Now if I want that to be a little, a little bit more fluid, um, I want that to sort of speed up and slow down. Um, right now it's moving at a constant speed, which makes it look very robotic. So uh, if I select uh, this button, I can adjust my easing curve. So horizontal is slow and vertical is fast. So now this will speed up and then slow down again. You can see here now, uh, that gives it a much more natural motion. Uh, it's a very powerful tool. Maybe you can yes. show us like a finished project. Maybe sure, maybe. yes, I would be happy to. Uh, this is one, um, a simple infographics animation. We have a, sort of a bar chart that draws and pops up. Um, here, uh, this is a uh, uh, sort of a, a, a rocket animation that we did. Um, and if you'd like, I can show you um, uh, how we can do something that works with, uh, with images. Um, so I'll go back into the same project we had, and I'm just very quickly going to animate this. I'll go a little bit fast here. I'm going to add some more keyframes and make this fill the screen. And now I'm going to just use that as a transition. So add a photo. Another photo. I'm going to move that circle on top. And I'm going to use that as a mask. So I'll come in here, create a masking group. And now I've created my own custom transition between these two. So it's very flexible. You can, uh, um, you can use this to create all kinds of, uh, of effects.